Welcome to the Ron Johnson YouTube channel. And today is a very important topic that all of us are facing during this wonderful spring, right? Summer's in the air, temperatures are getting warmer, it's time to go on vacation, it's time to travel. It's time to do a lot of different things because we want to connect. Well, most of the time we want to connect means we want to build better relationships. So if you're going to a new relationship, if you're coming out of a relationship, if you want to build better friendships or better communication with people, let me tell you the number one reason. Well, first, let me tell you this. What I do is I help high performers that are facing burnout. So if you're facing burnout in your career, your entrepreneurship, and you want to kind of get more peace, more fulfillment in life, this is can help you. But number one reason why relationships fail is this. Most of us always focus on what's wrong. So if you're dating somebody or you're about to date somebody, it's easy to point out certain flaws. Well, not tall enough. They make enough money. Uh, they're not funny enough. They don't have a nice body. We can go list and list on what's wrong. But more importantly, well, can we ever figure out what's right in that relationship or that friendship or meeting people? Inherently, we always want to focus on what's wrong because we think if we focus on what's wrong, we find a person that meets our checklist, whatever it may be, it will provide us a level of happiness. Nine times out of ten, <clears throat> if they do meet our checklist, they do provide a level of happiness. Most of the time, we're not happy because we're not happy with inside. We think we have to have these level of things. So I always come back to one thing. Sometimes we, get, sometimes we get what we want and sometimes we get what we don't want. So we meet someone that has everything we need, everything we want. They meet our checklist, right? We're checking the boxes off. Opposite of that is a checkbox in the back, what they have, what we don't like. So that's the way to build better relationships is to not always focus on the negative or what's wrong, but focus on what's right. What's right meeting this new person? What's right dating this person? They may not have everything we want, want, but they might have a great amount of features that we can use or that we can help make our life better or things that we can actually function better in life or bring more of what we're lacking. I'll give you an example of something. I took a 24 strength characteristic assessment. My top strength is spirituality. Second strength is curiosity. Third strength is love of learning. Fourth strength is curiosity. And fifth strength is uh, perseverance. Now, my significant other, her strengths, which are my lowest, my lowest strengths are, um, I said I don't care for others, but um, obviously focus on care for others is, is, is low. I say I don't care. Uh, love is very low, depending on care for other people. And doesn't mean I don't, but she helps compensate those features. It's where I lack, she's strong, and vice versa. And that's how you create a better partnership, is that look at what you don't have, that they're strong at, and that can make you better. Another example I'm gonna give you. When I first met my fiance is, she had a better credit score than me. I say to myself, damn, you know, she's not a multimillionaire, so how she had a better credit score than me? Because I figured out a long time ago that the only way to have perfect credit is to be a multimillionaire. Okay, so that's false. We all know that by now. Well, at least I figured it out eventually. And all she did was make sure to take her bills on time, only spend what she can pay back, and that was really it. So my credit score improved because we started being together. She had over 800 plus credit score, mine's like 630. So I'm like, wait a minute, what's the difference? So I started improving it. Within a year or two of us dating, I got a better credit score. So that's how great meeting someone has some different you, how you can make relationships better. But that's the one reason. Don't focus on negative, focus on the positive. Focus on what you can learn, focus on what you can gain, focus on what Beautiful it is you learn about this person. So we focus less on negativity because it doesn't hurt anybody, it only hurts. So if you want to learn more about what I do, I went to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, click on the subscribe call button, or let's book a call together, or join one master classes on positivity because that's where you can better up level yourself, better and feel better, and create better relations for you. So thanks for listening.